Okay, my brethren, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. I have a message that I wish to bring back to your remembrance from our sister Julie Wedby from 2014. The hourglass is empty. It has begun. My daughter, you must focus now more than ever before. I know my bride is weary. She feels tattered and torn by the cares of this world. But you must know that you are never alone and that I walk this out through you. You must know that you are surrounded by my angels and that I shall never leave you nor forsake you. So much is transpiring not only in the spirit realm but in the natural realm around you. And it is difficult to balance. In every aspect of your lives, I tell you this, my only requirement is that you be with me now. I wish for you to stay close to my heart, allowing me to shower you with my love, keeping you and being the protector of your heart. Events are rapidly escalating, daughter, and the world is truly teetering on the brink of collapse. All of the words in my holy word are being fulfilled, each and every one. Nothing will hinder what our Father has begun. It matters not where you are, or what you feel, or what you have or don't have. Whether you are rich or poor, free or slave, it matters not the conditions all around you. The only thing that matters is your intimacy with me. Are you washed clean by the blood of the Lamb? Do you wear my cloak of righteousness? Are you ready at any moment for my return? Have you left the cares of this world behind and truly laid your burdens down? Do you continue to stay in full surrender to my will for your lives? Do you walk in complete obedience on the path that has been lit before you, although narrow? The way has been made. You have been shown, daughter, several times now, the evil darkness that is spreading so quickly over the entire earth. I must render judgment where judgment is due. I must come to avenge the innocent. I must come to establish righteousness in all the lands. Though my bride walks through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for my rod and my staff comfort you. I have anointed you with oil, and your cup overflows. I have set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Trust my children and obey. The earth will shake violently, and your weather systems will be chaotic. I will bring much devastation to this earth as the apocalypse horsemen have been released. Much death and devastation shall come to your lands. Cry the message of repentance to my people. Shout to all those who have ears to hear, repent, be baptized, and be saved, for the Lord God is almighty in releasing his hand of protection, and the time of reckoning has come. All that has elevated itself as being high will be brought low. The proud will know their demise. Tell my sweet and lovely bride that she is loved beyond measure. Again, I know her weariness and her despair at watching the horrors on the earth unfold and wondering why the father waits to send the bridegroom for his bride. Know, my children, that there is an appointed time for my return, and nothing, I repeat, nothing will change this precise moment or alter it in any way. The moment when our father sends me for you, for he is a God who never changes. Keep the eternal perspective knowing that you only have this moment of now in my heart and the Father's perfect design are events that must occur in a precise order, a precise way before I will come for you. This design is intricate and it is perfect and it is complete. I realize you have done your best in your limited understanding to put the pieces of the puzzle together in order to know the timing of my return. And this is good, children, for I wish that you would <clears throat> always be prepared. For you know not the day or the hour that your Lord comes. Stay humble and contrite of heart, my people. Intercede for the lost, for they are many. They know not how they sin against our Father and against me. We have been most merciful, gracious, and long-suffering, but the hour has come. It is here, and we will come to pass as he has been foretold. And the world will see judgment like never before. Woe to the inhabitants of these lands. Woe to those who continue to walk in disobedience, idolatry, fornication, witchcraft, and all manner of evil things. For they will know their demise, and I will not stop until my wrath is kindled. You, my bride, however, are safe, 
under the shelter of my wing and the cleft of my heart always. Draw close, sweet children, draw close where the world will know that the great I am has spoken. The hourglass is empty, it has begun. Daughter, it is I, your kinsman redeemer, the lamb that was slain and come to the world to save the world from its sins. In me you will find your rest. I have come to seek and save the lost, all who are weary, come to the fountain and drink deeply, all who are heavy hearted and labor and are burdened by the cares of this world in me, you will find your rest. Come to me, the only source of living water, the source of all. I am your El Shaddai. Get out of the boat, children, step onto the water, just as Peter my disciple did, keeping your eyes focused on me and only me. When all else is sinking around you, you will have no fear, for I carry you and I hedge you in on all sides. Take this great leap of faith, knowing I am the rock on which you stand. All other foundations are crumbly. They are coming down forcefully and quickly. Let this be your testimony, this walk of faith, this great act of obedience. Blessed are they that have faith, but have not seen, but trust in my word and all that has been spoken. Let your example be a light to the others of the truth of my word and the love for my people, that I would bring you through seemingly impossible situations. Speak boldly and courageously to all you come in contact with. My kingdom has come. It has come within you, within your hearts. The lost have so little time to choose, for no one knows the hour that I would require their life of them. Many will perish at the judgments that have ensued. The greatest battle of all time is at hand. My great commission to you, my people, is just as important, if not more so, than when I spoke it on this earth. You are to go and preach my word to all, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Preach repentance and righteousness and holiness and purity. It is the only way. I am coming for a pure and spotless bride, one who knows my ways and my truths and accepts this for their lives. Although so many of you feel so alone in this work that you are doing for me and the kingdom, know this, that I in you is more powerful than many thousands of the enemy forces coming against you. You are not alone. My light will always dispel the darkness. Complete childlike faith is what is required at this time. Rise above all outward situations and appearances knowing that this is not your reality. The paradigm shift is underway. I will bring deliverance to my people. Basra in the wilderness while the tempest rages on. Great deliverance will you know. As death and destruction, famine and pestilence reign over this earth, my bride will walk forth powerfully, boldly, and with all authority given under heaven to minister, preach, to love, heal, and to rescue. Such wailing and gnashing of teeth will you encounter, but this must be done, for judgment to be rendered where judgment is due. Fear not, my children, for I am with you. Arise, my love, arise, and set my captives free. Who am I, you ask, that the Lord of all earth would care to know your name? I tell you, each and every one of you are priceless in my eyes. You have been purposed and designed intricately for this time of now. Each of you has a very specific task. Never underestimate that you are chosen. El Shaddai. God Almighty, the God of Heaven. My brethren, we are not to face the future with fear, but with faith. Now is the time to go into your prayer closets and to lay it all at the feet of Jesus Christ. Lay down all your fears, all your burdens, all your worries, all your shortcomings, all the things that you need help with. If you lay it all at his feet, you ask him to wash you clean with the blood of the Lamb. Ask him to give you the strength to overcome. Cry your tears and everything you need to him to let him know your heart. Let him cleanse your heart. Let him cleanse you and fill you with his strength. Let him give you his peace which has no understanding. Turn over all your burdens to him. You need to lay it all at his feet. 
There are some sins and things in this world which we must have help to get rid of, and you must lay it at his feet. You must give him permission to work inside of your heart to change you from corruptible to incorruptible. You must allow him to help you do the work. You must admit that you need him in your life, that you need him and what he did for you on the cross, that you cannot do it alone, that you need a savior in your life, that you cannot make it to the end without his help. He is merciful. He is just. His grace is sufficient for thee. I came to him on my knees and I prayed out for him to help me with so many things and he's changing me little by little. I have faith that he will continue to work into me until he returns. I have faith that the good work that he has started in me will be finished on time for he is an on time God and he shall never leave us nor forsake us. I have faith and I stand on the promises of God and I know that no matter what may come, no matter what storms come our way, I will not keep my eye on the storm, but I will keep my eye on Jesus Christ. And he will see me through the storm, the fires, the... He will see me through it all, for he has made a way. He's gone before us and made a way. For each and every one of us. He is no respecter of persons. He loves you just as much as he loves me. So seek him this day. Lay it all out at his feet. And he will answer you. As soon as you lay it all out at his feet. And give it all, turn it all over to him. You will feel him working in you. And that will give you your peace to know that no matter what may come, he is with us. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray for each and every one of you that you would listen and that you would seek him out on your own that you would not trust in any man or in any woman, but you would go to him specifically and ask him I pray that he would place his holy fire hedge of protection round about you on all sides, far above you and far below you. I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. I pray for my neighbors. I pray for my family. I pray for my brethren. I pray for my relatives and for their children. I pray that he would each cover you and your households with your own hedge of protection. I pray he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray that those who are in need right now, he would show you that his hand is not too short to reach you in your time of need. I pray that all of those who actually go into their prayer closets and leave it all at his feet and surrender to his will be done in his perfect timing, that he will give you his perfect peace which has no understanding. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Amen and Amen.